Hello, I'm Martin Immig. Hello from Adelaide, Australia. On behalf of my colleagues and I, I'm proud to present our talk entitled Attention, Working Memory and Cognitive Flexibility, Determinants of Visual Motor Performance. The aim of our study was to determine if individual differences in cognitive determinants of attention, working memory capacity, and cognitive flexibility predicted visual motor performance on a marksmanship task performed in a virtual reality environment. We assessed performance along the dimensions of perceptual sensitivity assessed with D-prime, aiming and selection latency assessed with reaction time to select a target, and the cognitive demands which we assessed using auditory probe reaction time. On the screen now you can see a demonstration of our virtual reality visual motor marksmanship task. Target robots along with distractor robots which were not to be selected were presented, along with a tone, an auditory tone which needed to be responded to as fast as possible. We calculated perceptual sensitivity in the marksmanship task based on the D prime measure, which was calculated as a difference in the Z distribution of hits and false alarms. 45 right-handed participants, of which 51% were females and the mean age of 22.7 years, first completed a baseline battery of cognitive tests involving the attention network test, the digit span test, and the Roma associates test. Then in a subsequent session, they completed the marksmanship task from which we took the measures of perceptual sensitivity, response latency, and cognitive demands. We then conducted a linear regression modeling to assess which of the baseline test scores predicted performance on the dimensions of the marksmanship task. The attention network test is based on the acute reaction time task and the flanker task. We calculated three networks of attention. First, the alerting network, which is based on the difference in reaction time between cued and uncued stimuli. Then the orienting based on the difference in spatially cued reaction time minus just cued reaction time. And then finally, executive attention based on a conflict score, which is calculated based on the reaction time when the stimuli were incongruent versus congruent. We assess working memory capacity based on the digit span test where participants listen to a sequence of digits called out in a span of three, four, five, six, or seven, or eight. Then they typed it in. If they were correct on two consecutive trials, the digit span went up by one. If they made errors on two consecutive trials, then the digit span was reduced by one. Finally, we define cognitive flexibility as the ability to shift between task representations and to adapt to novel and changing environments. To assess this, we used a remote associates test where three associated words were presented on the screen and the participant had to enter in the word which best associates the three words. In this example, the best word is gold, as in gold mine, gold rush, and gold fish. The new regression analysis indicated that individual working memory capacity predicted perceptual sensitivity as increased digit span scores predicted higher D prime. Working memory capacity also predicted aiming and selection latency. Here, higher working memory capacity predicted lower reaction times during task performance. Finally, working memory capacity predicted cognitive demands. Higher cognitive capacity was associated with lower probe reaction time during task performance. In addition to working memory, we also found that cognitive flexibility predicted aiming and selection latency. That is, higher remote associates test accuracy was associated with lower reaction times during the visual motor task. Then, of the attention network tests, only the executive attention control was found to predict the cognitive demands based on probe reaction time. Here, lower conflict costs indicating higher attention executive control was predicted with lower probe reaction time costs. The finding that increased individual working memory capacity predicted increased perceptual sensitivity along with reduced latency and cognitive demands is consistent with the idea that working memory capacity reflects a general capacity for function, performance, and learning. An extension of this is that perceptual sensitivity, speeded action, and cognitive resource efficiency can be augmented since working memory capacity can be trained. However, some argue that working memory capacity training does not generalize always to unrelated tasks. The finding that working memory capacity and increased executive attention control both predicted reduced cognitive demands is consistent with the idea that working memory capacity and attention share behavioral and neuroanatomical overlap. However, the degree of overlap between these two processes is in question since we did not find that working memory capacity and attention control indices predicted all dimensions of visual motor performance. Along with working memory capacity, cognitive flexibility also predicted reduced latency in aiming and selection. 
This highlights a key behavioral and neuroanatomical overlap, namely in the prefrontal cortex. A couple of limitations to consider with respect to the present findings. First of all, the visual motor task might not be representative of all visual motor performance uh, tasks and scenarios. Namely, we had a laboratory task based in the virtual reality environment where the aim was to capture key processes involved in visual motor tasks. Second, our assessment of attention, working memory, and cognitive flexibility was conducted with a few tests. And the argument is that attention, working memory, and cognitive flexibility represent heterogeneous processes that should be assessed using heterogeneity in the assessment approach. I'll close this presentation by acknowledging that this research was supported by the Commonwealth of Australia through an Australian Army and Defense Science Partnership Agreement with the Defense Science and Technology Group as part of the Human Performance Research Network. Thank you.